Hello! So welcome back to the Exo Racing YouTube channel. Uh, today we are doing more of an informational video. We are going to be telling you about AN line and which fittings to use and what they are good for. So stick around, guys! So these hose and fittings are great for doing custom lines in your cars. They are good for fuel, oil and water and you can kind of use them wherever. It doesn't even just have to be cars. We have customers using these on bikes and planes as well. There are many different types of AN hoses and fittings, but we are going to be covering the main ones that we use and that we find people use. Can you see? Can you see it? <laughs> we have rubber braided hose. So this is rubber with a bit of stainless inside and then a braiding on the outside. So the black braiding you see out here is nylon and we also do them in stainless steel. So the main difference between that is kind of strength and flexibility. With assembly and cutting of the line, it's the same between the two. So the braided nylon and the braided stainless. So just for today's video, we're just showing you with these. Uh, we have some PTFE braided hose as well. I'll pass that to the cameraman. Show him the magic. <laughs> so lastly, we have this rubber push on hose, which is polyethylene. And this stuff is super flexible, as you can see, and is really good to use in tight places. Um, not quite as strong as the other hoses, but very easy to put together. So we'll get on to more of that now. But before we do that, these are some of the hose fittings that you probably would have seen in our shop. You notice that they all look a little bit different. That is because they all serve a different purpose. So the first one we have here, you can see is the push on hose. So the hose literally goes over these barbs, sits flush against here, and then you'll just use something like a Jubilee clip to um, secure the hose in place. And then we have a swivel hose end fitting. That's what this is called. And this will go with the rubber braided line. So you remove the cap. So you simply push the hose into here until it's bottomed out right down the fitting and then you, it seals up when you screw the fitting back on with the hose inside. Quite simple, sometimes a bit tricky, but simple enough. And the last one with the PTFE hose is a PTFE fitting. You cannot use, you cannot use rubber hose and a PTFE fitting. You can't use PTFE hose with a rubber fitting. Okie dokie. So inside your PTFE fitting, there will be an olive which is very important in this process. So firstly, you will push the fitting over the end of the hose and that will slide down. We'll take the tape off in a minute. And then you will separate the braid from the PTFE. The olive goes between the two and then you push the fitting back on and then the pressure of the two being screwed together will hold it all together. Might not make sense, but you'll see in a minute when we start assembling these hoses. We do hose. So cutting the push on hose is the easiest of the hose to cut. It's only made of polyethylene. So we can just cut it through with these hose cutters, which are a real handy tool. So you just want to measure out how much you need. And we're just going for half meters here, just for the sake of the video. So we don't waste too much. And once you've found out where you want to cut it, it is as easy as that snap. And it comes up with a nice crisp cut. And you want to make sure it's as flat as possible so when you put on the fitting it bottoms out nice and flush so cutting the braided hose uh, the rubber braided hose is a little bit harder than cutting the push on hose but you will need a disc cutter with a one mil blade on it and this will give a nice clean cut through the thing really ideally you want to have a vice uh feel free to homebrew something if you want because <laughs> we love a bit of homebrew but that's what we want to do so measure out how much you're going to use again. Again, we're just going for half a meter and get your masking tape. And then again, that will just stop it from fraying as we cut it. So when you're using a vise, you don't want to just use it on this. This is rough and this is going to again, damage the braiding on the outside. So just lay a microfiber through there. And then you want to have where you're cutting as close to the vise as possible making sure that you don't cut through your microfiber. And then this should stop it snagging in the angle grinder. 
Remember YouTube, safety first. You want to have a guard on and you want to have goggles. I don't have goggles because I have glasses and they're just as good. Thank you very much. <laughs>
Give it a wedge against the table. You want to make sure you had your Weetabix. Put your Weetabix. So you can see that the PTFE is now right up to the end. You might not be able to see it on the camera, but you need to make sure that the PTFE plastic is all the way to the top of this olive. And then once that is on there, you take this part of the fitting through the middle of the olive, and that needs to go all the way down. Oh, it's gonna need to go all the way down. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. So that does require some force, but it is doable. I am a little weakling, so if I can do it, you can do it. Your nan can do it. And then now we are just gonna do up these this fitting together. Um, you'll notice on this one that you probably won't um, seat these two rings all the way together. You just need to make sure it's up tight enough that it doesn't leak, but you'll feel the resistance once it gets up tight enough. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Pop this in the vise and then tighten this up with our special spanner. So it definitely helps to have your vice bolted down to the table because we are having some issues with that. But once this is threaded in all the way, you will feel a difference in resistance, which we must nearly be there. Ah, there it is. And there you have made yourself a PTFE fitting. Very nice. So the easiest fitting to make up with the hose is the push on hose with a push on fitting. Um, these do go on dry, but you're gonna be pushing very hard. So we always use a little bit of lube, a tiny bit in there, just to help it go on a bit easier. WD is safe to use with this line, so don't worry about that. And just push it on. And then you know it's fully on once there's no play in this seal here. So that is now fully seated. And between these two bulges here is where you wanna put your Jubilee clip and then that will not come off. It is that easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Definitely. <laughs> so the rubber braided hose is a good all round hose. It's not so strong because of the braiding and the stainless steel inside. It, you can use it for like fuel, oil, all of that. The only thing you can't use this for is high ethanol rated race fuel and such with a high ethanol rating because it will wear through the rubber on the inside. So there's that. The PTFE braided hose is the probably the strongest. It is also the least flexible though, so in tight space is not the best, but you can use this with as much ethanol as you want and it shall not eat through. And lastly, the push on hose. The most flexible and usable in terms of space, um, but is obviously because it's just the rubber without a braiding on the outside, we're gonna sacrifice this just to show you, but, so yeah, you can see it damages quite easily. So you do have to be careful where you use this stuff. Also with the this hose and the rubber braided hose, when you're using fuel lines through the car, this stuff will actually let the fuel breathe out and let the gases out into the cabin, which is dangerous and you really don't want that. So we stress if you are using fuel lines through the car to use the PTFE braided hose, because that will be the strongest and will stop the gases coming into the cabin and will keep you safe. Safety first, gentlemen. So thank you for watching our guide on these rubber hoses and braided hoses. We will catch you on the next video. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more action. It's for you now. Are we not going to just, just quickly show you my cameraman? Are you going to tell them why I'm the new cameraman? <laughs> why are you the new cameraman, have you? <laughs> because we bought this thing off eBay. And it probably cost us, what is it, was it like £10 or something? If that. It cost us £10, if that, and I've already broken it. We've used it twice. <laughs> so, we're going to get rid of this piece of junk. Throw it. Yay. Uh, Kim. 
<laughs> yeah. why, why are you so mad? <laughs> because every single day we send out orders and right, we, we can't have no, no, cut, rubber cut, and PTFE cut. Pins, <laughs> and it's not gonna work. You <laughs> put your goddamn goggles on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you got it. I have 24 7 goggles. You don't know life. You, you just you don't understand. You wake up in the morning and you don't need to put on anything. You Cut. just wake up and you see. <laughs> you can see everything. I have to wear 24 7 safety goggles because I'm safety advisor. I mean, safety are advisor, they, Kim. Are you, are you looking at us? I'm looking oh, at right, you. Yeah, sorry. I'm looking <laughs> at the man behind the camera. So, are you going to put your goggles on? These are my goggles. <laughs> they I have don't safety count. goggles. They don't count as goggles. Yes, they do. Why? Because. Did your stuff, optician tell you? Stuff comes flying towards my eye at this angle. Patow! That is what happens. Straight How many times does glasses. that happen to you? Loads. How Good many? Time. How many? 1,064. <laughs> you reckon that's happened? 1,064. <laughs> Look. God. I don't need to wear goggles. I'm exempt. I'm like the man in the supermarket that doesn't have to wear a mask. That's me. I have a yellow badge that says... Which man's in the supermarket without a Royston. mask? Royston. <laughs> <laughs> Royston's not a man. We're probably going to cut all this out, aren't we? No. <laughs> like, hey, I'm going to put this through my ear. You ready? Oh, 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 I bet I can get it out this ear. Oh, 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 oh,